Hello guys, today we will study about appendicitis. That is acute appendicitis. Now the classical symptom is periumbilical or umbilical pain which is shifting into the right leg fossa. That is not present in each and every patient but this is a classical definition. Now you should remember appendix as a mnemonic to remember the symptoms. A for anorexia, P for pain, which is a symptom. Pain is migratory that starts, I told you, in umbilicus and shift to right leg fossa. That is not present in every patient. Then again, pain. You have to remember pain again because there is tenderness and rebound tenderness also. Then there is elevated temperature. N for nausea or vomiting. Then D for damage cell destruction is a function that is neutrophil increase in this and this is also called as left shift and there is increase in TLC that is leukocytosis X is for the grid iron in season this is the sign of grid iron in season there is a picture also I'll show it to you now most common cause of acute abdomen in young adult is the appendicitis now you should remember this is in young adults only the most common cause that makes the appendicitis most commonly performed surgery in emergency. So the most common surgery performed in emergency is appendicectomy. Functions of appendix is it secretes IgA although it was initially thought that it is a vestigial organ. So it secretes immunoglobin A. Now appendix is having different positions these are retrocecal pelvic paracecal subsecal preileal postileal appendicular artery is a end artery which is a branch of ileocolic artery occasionally it may arise from right colic artery these are the different positions of appendix now to physiologically there should be luminal obstruction as a pathological process which causes or the causes include fecolith, lymphoid hyperplasia, malignancy, parasitic infection, etc. The sequence of events are there is appendicitis, then there is superative appendicitis, then there is phlegmenous appendicitis, then there is gangrenous appendicitis, then there is ruptured appendicitis which leads to again abscess formation you can diagnose appendicitis at this place or position also or after abscess formation depending on the time when the patient presents to the emergency diagnosis traditionally it was considered to be a clinical diagnosis but accuracy of ct is 95 percent ultrasound is not as accurate as ct an MRI is an option in patient where there is contraindication of CT. The clinical features can also be remembered as Alvarado score. That is also called as mantral scoring. So these are migratory pain, anorexia, nausea or vomiting. These are symptoms. Then there are signs. These are tenderness, rebound tenderness, elevated temperature. These are signs. Then there is leukocytosis and shift to left that is neutrophil. So all the features having scoring of one except tenderness and the leukocytosis which are having scoring of two. If the patient is having score 0 to 3 then discharge him without imaging. If the scoring is 4 to 6 they should undergo CT evaluation. If the scoring is 7 to 10, there is high probability of appendicitis. So this is the central abdominal pain which is getting shifted to right iliac fossa. The first pain is visceral, the second pain is somatic pain. Now CT findings include appendicular diameter is more than 6 mm. There is wall sickness more than 2 mm which leads to target sign. I'll roughly show you what is target sign. There is central dot and there is circle outside that. This is target sign. Now 
there is fast trending which is due to periappendicial inflammation there is presence of fecolith that can be there then there can also be arrowhead sign the arrowhead sign is like this which is due to you know that Thicken cecum funnel funneling contrast towards appendiceal RFS. Now the treatment is obviously appendicectomy, which can be laparoscopic or the open one. Now this is the gridiron incision, which I have told you. This is medial two third and later one third at the line joining anterior superior leg spine and the umbilicus. So. As you already know, the video has been uploaded. The incision can be McBurney's incision, Rocky Doris incision, Lance's incision. So, if you want to see the video how appendicectomy is done, you can go and watch the video that is uploaded previously. Now, there are doubts after the lecture which can be there. Doubts may be why visceral pain is at umbilicus and somatic pain is at right leg fossa. The answer is appendicular innervation is P10 so that correspond to umbilical dermatom where the pain is visceral one and then shift to somatic pain that is because of the inflamed appendix comes in contact with the parietal peritoneum and shift to right leg fossa then there can be doubt what if there is pyuria and RBC in urine analysis so do not confuse it can also be seen in appendicitis, so get a CD done. Now, the doubt can be what to do while the patient is awaiting surgery. Obviously, you have to give the antibiotics. And the antibiotics can be fluoroquinolones plus metronidazole or second generation cephalosporins. Doubt can again be can we manage the patient of appendicitis conservatively Again, this is a very tricky question. The answer is efficacy of managing appendicitis in 91% and 14% of patients manage conservatively can recur. And these patients who recur are having the higher rates of perforation. So in my opinion, if a patient is having appendicitis, just operate. If you have more doubts, Obviously, you can always ask in comment section. Thank you so much.